FIFA 23 official gameplay. It's going to be the exact same thing, but I've got to give it a fair chance, you know? FIFA 23, let's see this deep dive official gameplay. I'm ready. We're in for a treat. Here's yes, everything are. new coming to gameplay in FIFA 23. Can't wait to hear more about Hypermotion 2. Let's throw it to Sheldon that I... He sounded like me. Can't wait to hear more about Hypermotion 2. Can't wait. Gameplay team to dive into the details. I'm Thank ready. you, Derek. Joined by the one and only Shauna Games and our gameplay dev team, Sam and Concho. Everyone, how you doing? Good, good, thanks. Doing good. How are okay. you? I'm super excited to play FIFA 23. Cheers for asking. Okay, let's get right into really it. Awesome Today, that, we're well. talking about Hypermotion 2, women's football, attacking, okay. defending, goalkeepers, and Shauna's favorite, skill moves. First, let's start with Hypermotion 2. What is this? What have we got? So Hypermotion is our groundbreaking next-gen technology that combines advanced 11 versus 11 match capture with machine learning. And with Hypermotion 2 this year, for FIFA 23, we carried out twice as much real-world motion capture than we did last year. That's two full high-intensity matches with training drills. Oh, wow, that sounds amazing. That's right. So there was like a shooting drill. Everything sounds sarcastic. Everything sounds sarcastic. Wow, that sounds amazing. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow, that sounds... Whoa. We got a ton of great data for power shots and goalkeepers. We also did one-on-ones, so a lot of new dribbles. And the way the defender jockeyed and tried to counter that dribble, we've got all that motion. So th the beauty of training drills is that we can get that a looks... high volume of data that maybe you would see only once or twice in a full 90-minute match. But in the training drills, we got it over and over again in a short period of time. It's the same. And Hypermotion 2 is a technology that empowers the improvements across Show all me that in real life. Areas. Show me that volley the that end, they, they use in real life. 6,000 new true-to-football animations transferred from the pitch directly into the game. Yeah, and don't forget our... Bro, I get what they're trying to do, right? With this whole, you know, when you slide, you make little mud bits, right? I ain't seen a pitch like this. It's Tottenham Chelsea. It don't end like this. Look how tired... Bro, this is the 36th minute. Look how tired Dyer is. Werner's gone as well. 36th minute in. And you're telling me they're that tired. That doesn't even make sense. Our machine learning algorithm, it's learning from over 9 million frames of data that we captured from Them these step overs, bro. Motion capture shoots. Madness. So, so to sum it up, it's capture shoot. So. All right, his foot is in the ground. His left foot is in the ground. Hypermotion 2. What's going on? How does that work? Hypermotion 2 and his foot is in the ground, ladies and gentlemen. What is this, man? So, Stop so hating. To sum it up, it's more motion capture data than we've ever captured before that skill and barely professional makes sense. athletes playing competitive matches and that's what's going into the game feeding our animation and ai systems well i'm super excited you guys are representing women's club football now in fifa what is it like working with the professional women's team this time around it was amazing that we captured two professional women's teams and now that we have women's club teams in fifa 23 it's bringing authenticity to the women's game you know when we they do these? all this real world data are these players like are these are these actual players or how do they how do they get these people if you know what I mean? Like when they when they have any of the matches, are they like reserves? Are they Sunday League? Are they professionals? Are they what are they? Data where they you know they played a competitive match and now all of that can be felt in in the game. And I know that uh, besides the I feel like they've used this. Oh my god! Anonymous with the twenty gifted subs. What is happening today? Um, you know they do this finish a lot in FIFA. And I feel like it doesn't now, really make all sense. All of that can be felt in, in the game. Like, the ability for a ball to come across here and volley it with my left. You know how ridiculous that is? There's no, like, that doesn't work. Some people obviously have done it, but it's. I feel like that's one of those things that happens all the time in FIFA. And I know that uh, besides the capturing the specific animations for the passing and the shooting, we actually completely changed the whole. Show me that in real life. You're, you're showing me in that. Every run in Same with captured it in real life. Show me that in real life. Realistic. That ain't happening. That ain't happened. What does all of this unlock in making the Hypermotion 2 experience feel more authentic? From the first moment you pick up FIFA 23, you're going to notice that dribbling is different. We've used the new animations that Hypermotion brings to enhance the responsiveness so this is make and the it visual even harder quality to of dribbling. People. 
and it adds people are just going to run around new level of personality. When you're playing with elite dribblers, you're going to be able to change direction. Elite dribblers, you're going to be able okay. to change directions. No, I thought he went through his leg. It's I don't think he did. On real world football. But what the tech allows us to do is actually inter Bro, if I saw this in real world football, you know how much I'm I'm saying I deserve more pay than these footballers. It's much more Look quickly. at this. It's more no based one's on tackling real him. Real world football. But what the tech allows no us to do is actually interrupt dribble animations, so that even I if you be playing point to the right that, side, that's you can quickly change to the left, and we'll interrupt that dribble animation to allow you to sort of like create a almost like a body faint motion. Wait, in the Bellingham clip. Allows us to do is actually interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. Can you see it? This guy here. There's two players at once. They've got they've got both kits. But what the tech allows us to do is actually interrupt okay. dribble animations, so that even if you point to the right side, you can quickly change to the Kev, left. Kev, thank you so much. That dribble animation Appreciate to allow that. you to sort of like create a almost like a body faint motion where you're shifting your weight from one side to the other to help you beat that opponent. Jeez, the that's system right. is compatible with the machine learning ML flow that introduced last year, which means we can ensure the clean footsteps in between every dribble touch. Right, and then people always ask, well, what's the counter to dribbling? Surely there's something in defending. Well, that's where the new machine learning jockey comes in. Nice. So the way you're able to position your body, the way you're able to angle up to that dribbler is much more intelligent. Yeah, and I know that the jockey allows you to have this super smooth, quick lateral movement, in and out, step-ins, change of right. direction. Well, I love using the jockey button, so I'll definitely be using this to cart the dribbling. Please tell me more, guys. Another part of the hyper -motor I don't think she was part of this conversation. I think that she's been rec she's recorded lines that they told her to say because it doesn't feel like she's heard. It doesn't sound like she's heard them say something and replied. It sounds like they've gone. Okay, now we'll put her saying this. She's definitely been added in. That's what I'm saying. Motion that why though? I'm super excited is accelerate. We know that the pace, speed and acceleration those attributes is probably the very first thing that our players look into exactly like acceleration is very important yeah inspired by the real life players we defined three acceleration right, archetypes. who's that defender get rid of him he's slow controlled and lengthy the length is the strong physical players but it's not only limited to the defenders some of the strong physical attackers will also benefit from this archetype which means they might be not as fast on the very short distance but will be able to accelerate and very long, powerful okay. strikes That's cool. to really improve their speed and accelerate even further and get the edge over the longer distances. I know that most of the players will be using the controlled, which is more continuous acceleration, but I really like the other archetype, the explosive one, which is dedicated to uh, agile players like those midfielders wait. in the center Sorry, of the Sorry, wait, so do you, have to, do you have to add that? Do you have to add these to the players? Or is that just their sprinting style? Because if you have to add it to players, bro, this is this is too much stuff. I don't care. Okay, it's their style. Okay, okay. They might not be associated with the pacey and the long runs, but they have that killer quick first step. Oh, wow. They're literally coming so fast off the mark. And it's not just the acceleration types that, that we have that are new this year. We, we also have signature run styles for those top players. I know Mbappe is one. We've got his unique running motion in the game right now. I know there was a few other players that you were keen to talk about, Sam. Yeah, my favorite one is Vinicius Jr. because... We've just got another 50 gifted subs from Anonymous. Anonymous, what is going on? He actually uh. has a two visually different run styles when he's dribbling with the ball and without. You can see when he's dribbling with the ball, his hands a little bit everywhere because he's so creative going in and out. But when he runs, he's more composed. And I know there is a, a series of the small, subtle changes in the way the arms move. really not the use his arms. During dribbling, during running, what during jogging. Really run like? And the collection of those small changes really makes a difference. Oh, wow, yeah. that's sick. They go on. Boom. Seen nice. so many new additions on the hyper motion side, but there's really a lot happening in gameplay overall this year. Let's start on the offensive side of the ball. Sam, what's your favorite way of scoring a goal? My favorite one is a power shot. Power shot is a new high risk, high reward mechanic uh, that uh, requires a little bit more precision from you. If this is going to be more like, I don't, I don't like time finishing as it is. I don't like time finishing. Wait, what's this? Sorry, I looked at the. A little bit more precision from you, but at the same time, it will result in one of the most powerful, most exquisite animation I've ever seen in FIFA games. With power shots, you can actually do this 
in, in a number of different ways. You can take it off the dribble. Okay, he didn't kick the ball. He didn't kick the ball there. You can... Take it off the dribble, or you can take it first time. Top bins all day, every day. <laughs> for sure, for Shauna sure. always going for the top bins. But as we, I that's some poor goalkeeping. If keepers aren't saving this, take the take them out of the game. If keepers ain't saving this, take power shots out. Shauna always going for the top bins. But as we eye the back of the net, right. here is it's middle of the goal. Surely not. Is there anything else to help players score more goals? Last year, we introduced composed ball control. This year, composed ball striking allows players to control the ball with that first touch and set themselves up for a volley. That is outrageous, that touch. Kick. You take one touch to control the ball and then fluidly step into the shot. So the, the, the beauty of it is that you're setting yourself up with that thigh touch or that chest touch. These touches so that you are can outrageous. you really step into it with power for the shot. And now to an area where we have a little more time to find different ways to score. What's new with set pieces These are in FIFA ridiculous. 23? In FIFA 23, we redesigned all set pieces mechanics. The new penalty kicks will have a more intuitive aiming system, but the key piece of the penalty kicks this year is a new circle shape composure bar. If you time it right, you will have a more precise shot, which means you can also power it a little bit more. Okay, so does that mean I don't, I don't know if you'll have to still aim in the corners or if it's just, you know, like old school where it's just, you go top right, bottom right. I don't know. Yeah, and that brings us to free kicks, something the community highlights so often. Anything new here, players can... That's way too easy to time. I think it will probably... Uh, my assumption is, if they're not idiots, it would be like, depending on the situation, the composure like goes more or less. Like if you get a penalty in the last minute, It'll go much quicker if you get a if you're like five nil up and you get a penalty. It would be like I'd hope. I'd really hope. Can look forward to with the new system with and the penalty for each player as well. Able... Yeah, that's true. Actually, there'll be different uh, different ratings for everyone. To pinpoint the exact place on the ball no. you're about to strike, and I really love that the new system gives you full control of the trajectory. So in certain situations, no. I can actually curl around the wall back into the net. And the opponent will have uh, no idea I can do that. And my favorite thing is okay, so on defense, you can actually lie down behind the wall to block any low shots when the wall is jumping. You see that in real football all the time these days. Sam, the back line is starting to sweat right now. How, how on earth are we going to counter all of this on the defensive side? Every year, we're trying to keep up with the attack and with all the new ways to score. And on defender, there are several improvements we had in this year. And my favorite one is the hard slide. This feature was designed to just send the ball as far away as possible. But I found it quite useful as a counterattack to the power shots. Because if you need some time to prepare for a shot, this is okay. a perfect opportunity for me to unexpectedly go and kick the ball as That's far away as possible. That was a great challenge there. That was a great challenge. And I know we've added a ton of new animations just for the elite defenders. So more coverage to stop the ball. Even if you've sort of overrun the ball, you can reach back and still get your toe onto it. So really nice way to make those uh, world-class defenders stand out. It's the exact same animation as the Van Dyke one. Naturally, we've made our way to the last line Okay, of I need to see this because What's it's new power shot goalkeeping this year. So with keepers, we've added this reaction time based on their vision. So if their vision is blocked, they're going to be a bit slower to react. So more natural behaviors from the goalkeeper. But like when they do have time to go up and grab that ball, they're going to be stronger. Even if an opponent is challenging for the ball. Stronger? I swear if I put the ball near the goalkeeper, you always down, catch it regardless. To it, just like you see in real life. Thanks. <laughs> exactly, exactly. There's probably some other cool stuff that we haven't talked about. Like the fingers, yeah. Yeah, we always wanted to add this for a long time when the goalkeeper will really stretch out, reaching for the ball, and you will be able to see like each finger deformation coming up with the contact with the ball. And this year we're able to achieve this. And my favorite part that this new physics approach was able to recreate not only for the goalkeeper, but also for the defenders. So this year, the ball will actually graze over the foot, will graze over the leg, and there will be more deflections. And not only does it graze off the deflection, it, it actually pushes back like the, the foot or the arm. I know Shauna's been cool. dying to ask you this, Shauna. I actually quite like Shana. that. I actually quite like that thing. That was, that was cool. The thing is, right, everyone always, everyone always says when I'm watching these and like saying, oh, I don't care about this, I don't care about this. And they're all going, what do you expect? It's a football, it's a game of football. Like, 
You can't do that much with it. It's football. I see it as like, come up with new concepts. Doesn't have to be, you don't even need to improve the gameplay that much. I mean, you could change a few things. I see it as like, okay, go to pro clubs, make pro clubs sick. There's so much stuff to do with it. They just, all they focus on is, yeah, the fingers and stuff like that. This is low-key my favorite part, skill moves. Here we go. What's new? Tell me everything about it, please. I'm dying to know. There's so many new things with skill moves, actually. But my favorite part is the left-footed skill moves. This is something the community has been asking for for many years. And we finally got that into the game. So if you're Mars, for example, you can actually do an elastico skill and he'll use his left foot to do that now. There's so many other skill moves. To 2022, about, like, Mbappe, ladies and gentlemen. Right? The way he fakes a shot. I really love the fake shots because it's one of the easiest and most reliable skill moves uh, to perform in the game. And I know that this is available only to to the elite players. And we also have a stutter feint skill shot move is where they feint one way and make you step the wrong direction. Fake shot is only available to elite players. My favorite new skill moves is a, a fake shot's gonna be like fake a... to ball roll. It's good. I mean, I've been using it already. A fake shot, something that you have to be five star skill to have. What's going on? And what this skill? This skill is not a thing in the game and it's a skill move where you actually use the heel to fake a pass and then you do a ball roll to the other direction oh wow that's sick well this is going to be great oh wow that's for me. sick totally i'm loving all of these new updates coming to fifa 23 from women's football to new shooting mechanics to all new ways to defend and your first look at what hypermotion 2 is bringing to the game that does it from the pitch derek back to you thank you very much for that can't okay. wait to lend our commentary to the world's game this year I don't need to. I don't need to say any more about this. This that was that was something else. That was stop focusing on that kind of stuff. Fine. What would you do then? Stop complaining. Stuff like I would I would change pro clubs to make. I, I would update pro clubs. Like I would make it an actual game mode that people aren't like this is the same game. Add in loads of stuff. Make it like Ultimate Team. Have loads of stuff. Make a try and. I mean, there's what there's how many people that work on FIFA, right? You're asking me in four seconds to come up with a game mode. I'm saying they could make a game mode like Ultimate Team. They could come up with a, a game a game mode like Ultimate Team amongst themselves and trial it and see. World Cup is the only thing that seems decent. Yeah. I mean, I'm still going to buy it. I'm still going to play it. But yeah, it's going to be a long year. I don't think I'm going to be playing as much as I was this year, which isn't as much as last year. Which isn't as much as last year. Yeah, the, the freaking, you know, when you do uh, NBA games and you can do the like player career mode. And it's mad. It's not just like, okay, play, train a bit, play, train a bit. That, do that. 